water potential in calibration terms. It is possible to investigate the effect of the merging plant tissues of different water potentials and use the results to estimate the water potential of the plant tissue itself. The most common osmosis practical of this kind involves cylinders of potato, placing them in the soil with a range of different water potentials used to grow solution of increasing concentration. At least five different concentrations are used required. Method care the required number of potato cylinders are given here because IDC is with uh, for testing. They are all at the same length and once blotted dry to remove any excess moisture, their initial mass is measured and recorded before, before placing them into the solution. They are all left in the species for a set amount of time, usually 30 minutes or that first water path or those kind of temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius. They are then removed, dried to remove excess liquid. The final length and the final mass of each potato is measured and recorded. Like here, subsequently, we use a cork board to cut five potato cylinders of the same diameter. Then we use a scalpel and a ruler to trim each potato cylinder so they are all the same length. Then we measure the mass of each potato cylinder and record it in a table of results. We have a potato cylinder, and we have a top band balance of the mass measure. What do we do? The mass of a potato in the 0.25 concentrated solution, 0.5 concentrated solution, 0.75 or 1 concentrated solution, we have measured the We have measured all the initial masses. They are approximately the same. Now, here we have to check how the mass change. Now, you can see that the concentration is increased as we go down, which means the water potential is decreasing. So, what will happen? Water is going to move outside. Mass के आसपास ना values जो हैं वो decrease करती होगी. For example, if the initial mass over here is 5.30, it might remain 5.0. हाँ, निश्चित जिन जाते जाते, यहाँ पे शायद 5.15 आ जाए. The mass will be very much decreased. क्योंकि जैसे आपके पास concentration increase हो रही है, final mass भी आपके पास less आएगा, because the potato must have lost the water. Then measure 10 centimeter cube of each sugar or salt solution and pour into each boiling tube. Label each boiling tube very her uh, a potato jogger on some different concentration of this. this is 0 0.25, this would be 0 0.5, take this would be 0 0.75, put in one go jaga, add one potato cylinder to each boiling tube and leave for a specified amount of time joker 30 minutes. Work 30 minutes. Remove the potatoes, blot dry, and record the final mass. Each agram analysis decay. The percentage change in mass of each potato is calculated. Here you can see the initial mass, final mass are basically final mass is decreasing. Soon because concentration was increasing, water potential was decreasing, so more and more water was lost from the cell. Then we will calculate the percentage change in the final mass of for each cylinder. This is the percentage change this time. Final mass, which is 5.42, minus the initial mass, which is 5.32, divided by the initial mass into 101.9% change in the mass of that potato cylinder. So, to find percentage in the mass, change in mass must be divided by the initial mass and then multiplied by 100. A positive percentage change in mass indicates that the potato has gained water by osmosis. Net movement of water from a solution in the potato, meaning the solution had a higher water potential than the potato. This would make the potato cells blended as the water exerts stirred pressure or musko hydrostatic pressure bhi water ki hai, on the cell walls and hence the potatoes feel very hard. If the solution has higher water potential, then the water would move inside and the turgid pressure will the potato tubes hard. Ho what would a negative uh, percentage negative percentage means what water has been lost. Jokibus negative percentage this means that water was lost from Jokibus positive percentage. There's a difference between gain and loss. So the potato cylinder, the strongest sucrose solution, will have decreased in mass the most as there's a greatest concentration gradient in this between the potato cells. This means more water molecules 
out of the potato cell by osmosis, making the flaccid and decreasing the mass of the potato cylinder. As the potato cylinder will not feel hard, it floppy, se ho jayenge, bent. Se ho if looked at underneath the microscope, cells from the potato might have plasmolyzed. Those plasmolysis ki wajah se they have become floppy and they have become flaccid and all that because the cell membrane has pulled away from the cell wall. Let's say the solution isotonic is. Solution isotonic is, when would we know this? When the initial mass would be equal to the final mass. This would mean that the solution is isotonic. If there is a potato cylinder that has increased nor decreased in mass, means there was no overall net movement of water into or out of the potato. This is because the solution that is potato uh, cylinder was at the same water potential as for the solution. So the water potential inside the potato cell and the water potential in the solution was the same. So we will know that this is an isotonic solution when the initial mass would be equal to the final mass, which means there was no net movement of water into or out of the cells.